But I want to move now to AI and Econolink Group, right? Um, I think according to uh, the the Investment Research Division and Goldman, that you referenced this in your paper as well, AI could drive almost a 1.5% productivity growth, which could be massive for the world, uh, and provide a 7 trillion lift to global GDP, right? With incidentally the same number that's... It just happens to be a so similar number. <laughs> um, but I wanted to dig deeper into that macro piece that you've referenced, right? Around the impact of AI on economic output and economic growth around the world. Where, in your sense, right, and where uh, does the research suggest Will this growth, both on the productivity side and the GDP uh, job, likely to come, right? With sectors, which countries, yeah. with segments of the population, right? With segments of the workforce. Drill, drill down into that for us a bit so we can better understand where and who will benefit most from this economic growth as well. Yeah. Um, and thank you for referencing that. You know, it's it really, uh, I admire and applaud our investment research group in March of last year. So Which, by the way, I'm an alum of. Uh, uh, awesome. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> again, more, yeah, more, yeah. more shared background uh, for us. The um, uh, I really applaud their effort to create a 10-year model away. And, and, you know, I think they don't, they wouldn't assert that this, you know, there's any precision to these estimates, but it's a mental model for thinking about the impact. And um, you articulated the high-level impacts. What was really interesting is what under, under, was the undergirding for those um, conclusions was a very kind of um, bottoms up approach to looking at 900 occupations in the US and then generalizing that around the world and trying to intuit the d degree of task automation that occur for those those 700 occupations you know in a very you know uh, in, in a very micro way and so you know like unsurprisingly they sound they found that the greatest impact first of all the greatest impact for um, task elimination or substitution was going to be in developed markets rather than emerging markets reflecting the greater preponderance of knowledge work in the former rather than the latter and so the jobs that were going to be most affected are things like administrative jobs software development jobs um, operational jobs um, medical jobs education jobs education and area i think this will be profoundly impactful and then at the bottom of the stack of impact were things that had more of a manual uh, component to them the other thing i would note is that i think they smartly said these this is not just a story of substitution or disruption but rather augmentation so one of the things that i've heard people say that was expressed in their study is that this technology is not yet capable of replacing jobs it's capable of replacing tasks yeah that constitute some that are part and parcel of some jobs and so um that's the kind of the way they they thought about it so again most profoundly anchored and consequential in knowledge industries and knowledge worker jobs um, biased towards developed economies versus emerging economies, but in some, you know, extremely profound. I mean, to think about that much GDP impact or that much of a productivity lift, you know, almost, you know, competed only probably by the industrial revolution in terms of, of scale of impact. Yeah, and by waves uh, within that industrial revolution, like electricity and... Like, yeah, electrification is <laughs> a great one. 